Hi everyone, it's day 16 of 30 days cultivating appreciation. I'm Dr. Sue Franklin. I'm really happy to be here. So we've been practicing this appreciation for two weeks. And today I'm going to challenge you. Relationships heal. I think it's part of the purpose of relationships because while they both, they challenge, they push our buttons, let's face it, that it causes all of our neurotic stuff to float to the top and we all have it because we're human. And relationships in the crucible of relationship, we have an opportunity to know ourselves really deeply to work on being in alignment with ourselves and relating with another human being who really encounters the same kind of wonders and struggles that we do. So the Buddha, the historical Buddha, um, was quoted as saying, hatred never ceases by hatred, but by love alone is healed. And it's a powerful phrase that Martin Luther King Jr. often shared because hatred can only create more hatred. Love can only create more love. And love is the only way to overcome it. So your job today, we've all been wounded somehow as a human somewhere in our life. And your job today is to choose someone difficult, not your most difficult person, not your hardest one, not the one who's hurt you the most. This, that kind of work, uh, it's important to do in a supported environment with a therapist or spiritual teacher or really uh, trusted safe place. So <clears throat> don't choose that person for this exercise. Please choose just somebody who's difficult, okay? And your job is to really dig deep to find things about that person that you can appreciate. It's easy if we've had a hard breakup to blame that person and just put heap everything on that person and how awful they are. But that really, it has no effect on them because they're not in your life anymore. Well, unless it's an ex and you share kids, but, um, but it hurts you every moment, every nanosecond that you spend focusing on blaming or angry at the other person, it hurts you. So your job today is to look for things that you can appreciate about that difficult, challenging person. Like, thank you, so-and-so. You gave me these beautiful children. Thank you, so-and-so. I learned about art and literature from you. Thank you, so-and-so for your, you were a consistent worker. You went to work every day and provided well. Thank you so-and-so for, you know, your, you have beautiful eyes. Get creative um, and find, really find, even if they're small things like you have beautiful eyes, um, you know, you were a good tennis player or you're a good tennis player. Anything like that is a good place to start. To, it's like building a muscle and it's building better feelings for you toward that person. Dig deep. And this is a healing for you. And any work that you do healing yourself, creating, letting go of war, and anger and violence within you, creating peace within you, benefits the entire planet. Okay, 
I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I can't wait to see your comments and posts about uh, the work you're doing here in practicing appreciation. Okay, see you tomorrow.